Good morning. It's Monday, July 10th, just about 6 a.m. Central Time. Looking at the precious metals overnight, they were slightly weaker. You got gold down three bucks, trading at 1930. You got silver unchanged at 2329. You got copper down three at 375. You got platinum up three at 921. Something to note here on the palladium market, you got to trade right around a four year low and you've got historically high short interest. So what that's doing is, is waiting, weighing in on the platinum market and you got this differential between gold and platinum sitting right around about $1,000. So overnight news, you had Chinese, some inflation data came out, but it really showed quite a bit of a deflationary environment. So you got it weighing in on the Australian dollar, down just under about a percent here. You also got the copper market down three and you got the crude oil market down about 50 cents. All of those are really heavily dependent on some kind of growth here in China. Now, if we do get a breakdown of any significance on the crude oil market, we'll look at wanting to enter on the December contract back to the upside. Later on today here, we'll have two Fed members. They'll be speaking, but they are not voting members. So their, their rhetoric is going to be limited uh, at best. You've also got the Bank of England governor. He'll be speaking. And, you know, if you look at the British pound here, it's been one of the stronger currencies. And it often has set the tone for additional interest rate hikes out of other countries. Now, some volatility events we're going to have. Really, it's Wednesday and Thursday. You're going to want to buckle back in, uh, especially Wednesday. And some critical levels here to watch on the uh, on the precious metals. So silver, we got to get above. There's like two real levels here. It's 2356 on September, 2359. So let's just round up, call it 2360, 2362. Got to break through that level. We could extend higher from there. Looking at the gold market, it's 1943 to 1945. So it's tightening up and there's a lot of kind of resistance here. Got to break through it. Break through it, you start working on, chewing on some overhead resistance. 1950, 1985, 2000, 2008. You guys know these numbers by now. So on the copper market, 382. The December one, it touched 381. We had some sales trigger off there. But 382, we got to break above there, 384. And then we can go up to that 389, 391, start threatening uh, four bucks again. And then on that platinum market, it's 940. You got to get above there. Break above there, you can clear the way uh, for a movement upwards. Hopefully, you can get back up 985 to 1,000. So, you know, that's about it here today. You got the grains are a bit stronger overnight. Despite having some rains come through, maybe they were slight, slightly damaging. I'll be on Bloomberg, uh, BNN Bloomberg, right at about uh, 1040 Central Time. So you can tune into that. Also going to do a couple other TV spots here this week. Got any questions? Give me a call, 312-858-7303. Remember, futures, option, trading, balls, risk, loss, may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck, good trading.